First of all, there's all kinds of different tumors, and you know, if anything, you know, having a tumor on a scapula, uh, you know, might be better because you don't necessarily have to lose your leg. You know, you can just lose your scapula and still have a leg. So if you look at it from that perspective, then it's better to have it higher up. But you know, scapula wounds is kind of like the shoulder bone. Uh, but if you look at it from the perspective of osteosarcoma, there's definitely something to it where there's at least one, if not two, studies that show that when you have the cancer below the wrist. If it involves just like the, the paws, that the, the those patients tend to do better, live longer without chemo. They still spread, but it seems to take a little bit longer and their survival is better. So that's probably where that's coming from. But aside from that, you know, it, it's very rare to have cancer, you know, osteosarcoma that far down. But um, uh, aside from that, you know, I'm not aware of anything that says, you know, Radius versus humerus is any different. You know, the radius tech. You know, the radius technically your candidate for limb spare, but I wouldn't necessarily say that that's a better thing. Because even with the limb spare, it's a lot more to put the dog through. You're looking at 30% risk of infection, 30% risk of recurrence, either of which you're probably going to have to amputate the leg anyway. So I don't think that would mean that's a better prognosis. It just, it's another option, I guess. So it depends on, on what cancer you're talking about. Um, you know, if you look at, like, say, soft tissue sarcomas, you know, which are very common, they like to get them on their legs. Yeah, it, it is bad when they get them on the leg, just not because they're more aggressive. It's it, there's less tissue to remove on the leg. You have to get into fancy surgery and radiation therapy to treat them versus it's right over there, fat, fat on their back, you know, where you have tons of tissue to, to work with. So from that perspective, not a worse prognosis, just a little more challenging to treat. You know, so it, it depends, but there's, there's certainly not any catch-all that I'm aware of that would say that, you know, the higher up the worse, unless you're specifically talking about paw osteosarcoma.